There was a famous quote by Jim Ron, an American entrepreneur and an author, stated that discipline is a bridge between gold and accomplishment. But wait, oh, what is discipline? And why is it even important that could lead us to dignity and prosperity? Well, that's a secret. If you want to know, pay attention and listen carefully to what I am going to raise up. To start my speech, I would like to pay my highest respect to the chair of the ceremony, Balti management team, honorable judges, teachers, and our participants. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lam Hing Long, a level 12 contestant from Balti International School, Campus 5, Chibang Ampeu. For today, I'm so delighted and honored to be here, standing on this lovely stage, once again, presenting all of you a remarkable topic which is good discipline lead to dignity and prosperity in life this topic may seem a little complicated so first let's take a look at some new key terms according to the Oxford dictionary the word disciplines mean the ability to control your behavior or the way you live work etc the word dignity mean a calm and serious manners that deserve respect and the word prosperity mean the state of being successful especially in making money so let's move to the topic in in today's world, we often hear the phrase, follow your passions and do what makes you happy. And while these are important, they are not enough. Why am I saying it's not enough? Because there is something missing. It's discipline. Discipline is a key that unlocks the door to success and happiness. Moreover, it's the cornerstones of personal growth and achievement, which play a crucial role in shaping our character and determining our success. Discipline is a fundamental to dignity and prosperity. Furthermore, by being disciplined, we build our character, integrity, commitment, and flexibility qualities that are essential for success and happiness. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, can we live with dignity and prosperity without good discipline? Can we? Of course, no. For today, I will come up with three main points to share to all of you. First of all, self-discipline and personal development. Good discipline encloses self-discipline, which refers to our ability to control our impulsive, prioritize tasks, and stay focused on our goal. Self-discipline lay the foundations of personal development as it enables us to overcome obstacles and maintain consistency even in the face of challenges. Self-discipline plays a significant role in today's society, and it requires humans to take time in order to achieve it. This evidence can be found in the life of successful individuals who have great who have attained great high through discipline effort consider Thomas Edison the renowned inventor who fell enormous time before inventing the electric light bulb his unwavering disciplines and determinations ultimately led to his groundbreaking achievement to self-discipline not only enhance personal growth but also covered the way for dignity and prosperity secondly Good discipline in school and at workplace lead to dignity and prosperity. School is a second step in which students get an education. It is a place where people must show respect and good discipline in order to receive dignity and prosperity. School is the foundations of education that all Cambodian youth shouldn't miss. Good discipline in school doesn't mean children sitting silently and listening to the teacher, but it does mean that all students are respectful to other members of the class and remove distractions such as unruly behavior or noises which enable all of your learner to concentrate and stay focused on the lessons that is delivered by the teacher well on the other hand good discipline at workplace is also important it requires every staff or manager to maintain silence respect be friendly and be organized when you have bad discipline it could disturb other manager or member which they couldn't concentrate on their work last but not least Discipline in relationship and social success. Well, discipline extends beyond personal trait. It also encloses our interactions with others, maintaining discipline in our relationships, such as foster harmony, trust, respect, and enhance our social success. When we exercise self-control, practice active listening, and show empathy, we build a stronger connections with others. This, in turn, open doors to new opportunity, collaborations, and personal growth. Study have illustrated the positive correlation 
correlation between discipline and relationship and overall life satisfaction. Well, furthermore, numerous successful leaders and entrepreneurs attribute their achievement through discipline in building and maintaining strong network of relationship. To sum up, good discipline is a fundamental factor to dignity and prosperity. As we cultivate discipline in various aspects of our life, thank you.